everybody, welcome back to my channel. I find this video a bit odd to be filming my second video back to YouTube, but nonetheless, this is a little bit of a life right now um, vlog situation. So today I am getting my tonsils taken out. So yay, surgery day vlog. Oddly enough, nothing related to ballet, no injury related, no nothing, but a little bit of a, yeah, what's going on right now. So, I'm home, still waiting on the visa, no updates, and in the meantime, taking care of all sorts of medical health sorts of things. You guys saw on my Instagram, I had my wrist done about two weeks ago now, that's doing well. So now we're just moving on to the next part of the body. Tonsils. I've had tonsillitis on and off for a number of years, and now is just the time to... Now I have the time to take care of that. So here we are with my dad. We're driving to Sarasota to get them out. So stay tuned. This might end up being a two-part vlog, we'll see. If not, it's just gonna be the one and done. So, here we go. This is Allie's vlog. This is a fill-in, because she's kind of sleeping. She's been having her water, lots of it. Still on the drive home. That's what it looks like when you're post tonsillitis, 45 minutes. Hey guys, so I just witnessed the surgery. I can't talk very well. And I feel very tired. And my dad is here again. <laughs> and she's still under the influence of anesthesia. So this is gonna be a really fun video. So we're on the way home. And I just feel very thirsty and cold. And like I want to sleep. My throat and my neck just kind of feel like maybe somebody punched it. And it just feels kind of like slimy right now. It feels really slimy and kind of gooey. Like Ballet dancers will know this, the little second skin squares that you put on your toes if you got blisters. It kind of feels like I've got those on both sides of my throat and all the way down. So it's a bit weird, a little bit jelly and a little bit like gritty, but slimy gritty. So. I'll check in once we're home, but I, I can't quite talk normally. My voice feels really strange, so that's my dad again. He's driving because I can't drive right now. Stanley, you have to get down. She's She has to rest. And Casper, okay. <laughs> What what is going on, Casper? I know. Okay, Allie needs to rest. Easy, easy. Okay, I know it's exciting. I know, and we we're, we know that we're worried about her. But let's get down. Let's get. Okay, Stanley.
your neck is like inflamed red now from the tramping of bulls on your chest. Hey guys, time for a little voiceover. So most of the morning was spent relaxing with my little dog Casper here. And um, a little bit later on, I had a nap and woke up and managed to have a little pudding cup, which you'll see right about here. Um, but yeah, it was really hard to talk little bit of pain and discomfort, so that's why I wasn't vlogging too much. So many of you asked me to do a day-by-day -day update post-surgery showing what my throat looked like. So this is a trigger warning. If you're sensitive to blood or surgical procedures, please fast forward. You're not going to be a fan of this. But um, basically, for those who are unaware, a tonsillectomy is a surgical procedure in which both palatine tonsils are fully removed from the back of the throat. Um, the procedure is mainly performed for recurrent tonsillitis, which is what I had, and uh, a lot of other people get it if they have throat infections or any sort of obstructive uh, or obstructive airway situation. All right, back to the vlog. Good morning, guys. Today is day two. I'm still. I couldn't film anything yesterday because I had an allergic reaction to my medication and I had to change it and yesterday it was really hard. The pain is controllable if you stay on top of the medication but the reason my really bad is because my doctor changed me to a different medicine and I had to wait like three or four hours past when I was supposed to take the next dose because that's how long it took to get the different type. It's really quite hard to talk. My whole neck and throat just feel really tight. This is a nice pack for your foot from when I had an injury. And so now it's for my neck. It's about six in the morning. And I just had to wake up for my next dose of medication. It makes me extremely tired because it's oxycodone. Um, I originally was on a different type, but we had to switch to this one because of the reaction I had. So, we have to monitor this one quite closely because this is the scary kind that people get addicted to. Um, but it really helps. It just makes me tired. So... I thought I'd try and film this before I got too tired. And I'm just having a really hard time talking. Um, Casper is here with me. Hey, good boy. He's a good little helper. swollen and a little scratched from the intubation tubes so just icing it helps a lot um i'll try and vlog some more if my voice comes back so i'm just out on a little walk it's a bit cooler outside and Casper is in his little stroller and we're just enjoying the sunset. Oh, it's really hard to talk. 
but walking outside and moving my body helps me work the anesthesia out of my system. But I could only do a little bit because I get really tired really fast from the steroids I'm taking. So we're going home now. I'm gonna try and have something for dinner. Today is day three post-op. The scabs are starting to form so far. It still hurts to talk. Not much change. Still got an ice pack on. Hey guys, so today is day four post-op. There is a hurricane coming tomorrow, so we are quickly at Walgreens to pick up some supplies that we need. So my mom is going to vlog because I can't talk. We're getting supplies for the impending hurricane that's headed this way, mm -hmm. so we're getting our supplies. With all the dogs. Floss, a, a priority. <laughs> So another little update now that I am recovered and can speak properly. So yeah, this was still day four post-op in the evening time. And shortly after shopping with my mom, and bear in mind, this was the first time out of the house since the surgery, I felt like I had hit a brick wall. I felt really, really ill. And I went outside to the car to catch my breath. And I knew that something bad was coming. Mm -hmm. 